Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So I'm back with Horse Haven and I've got a reasonable amount of progress um, since I last did a video on this. I've been working with a lot of the horses that I got on it. Um, most of them were tier 1 when I started out so then I worked on breeding tier 2s and after that I worked on tier 3 as well. And I have quite a few tier 3s now in quite a few breeds and I'm pretty pleased with that. And I also managed to breed my first tier four. Um, a few days ago. Now, clear out the fusion plant a few times. Okay, we've done that. Harvest nine forage. 1200 meters in the Australian. Harvest five granola bars and then visit five friends' ranches. So I'm just gonna collect some of the crops here. We have a new full ready here, but I think this might be one I've already got. I've been working on trying to get some Canadian Pacers. Maybe that's the one. I think I just maybe have one Canadian Pacer. So that might be the other one. Yeah. I've got one female and now a foal, but I can't move that foal out because I have no space at the moment, so I'm just going to leave that one there. So I have a few ranches now. I've got the French one and I've also got the German one and I've also unlocked the United Kingdom one, although I haven't done anything with it yet, so we're going to do that soon. So in my French ranch here, I've got this little one and this is my elite Appaloosa. It's the first one that I have bred that has been an elite one. Um, so I have, this is my first one here, my first tier four ever. So I'm super excited about this one. We're gonna muck it out and then I'm gonna put it in for training because I'm trying to get it to adult. Which I'm sort of getting closer to. It's I've found that the higher tier they are, the you know the longer it takes to kind of level them up. So we'll send this out for training. So that's it in the paddock now. Out to train. So they've also got my German ranch here. So on my German ranch, I'm working currently with Irish hunters. They've been particularly difficult um, to actually get higher tiers with. I'm really struggling with them. I'm super happy with my progress so far in this game because I haven't spent any money on it at all. And I don't know if I can actually... No. I'm gonna have to save up some diamonds to be able to do that one. I got some diamonds from that. Put that back in again. Because um, it can mine items and diamonds and that. Right, let's see what full we got. I can't remember, did I get the Irish sport horse that I was trying to get? Let me just check. So it's a tier 2 female. And we needed... I think we did need a tier 2 female, so I think we've actually got it. Awesome. Right, okay. That means we can get rid of the tier 2 that I have. Or sorry, the tier 1. And um, keep this tier 2. So this is the one we want to sell. Then we're going to transfer this one over. Okay, so now we've got that new Irish Hunter. I'm just going to put it in training so that it should be an adult by the time that's done. Okay, so I think we should check out the UK ranch. I haven't used this one yet, so let's go see what it's like. This looks really run down. We're going to have to do a lot of work with this. Do I have enough? I do. Barely, though. How much is this going to cost us? No, I don't have that much. It's going to take me a little while, I think, to get enough money to really build this place up. Because this is a brand new ranch and I haven't got uh, very much money at the moment because I've been upgrading a couple of other buildings and buildings in some of the other areas. So I'm looking forward to expanding that one a little bit because kind of, I've kind of recently been running out of space now. So another thing I've been super excited to unlock is the fantasy place. So... The Stallion Wranglers has tracked the fantasy horses to their origin, an island in the air. He says it's, uh, it's a sight to behold. Let's unlock it. Go. So, okay. Do we have to get these items to unlock it, or, or can we do like little mini games or something? Six stables for all types of horses. You can breed with the wild fantasy horses that um, meander, through the meander through the island every Monday. Fantasy style buildings, decorations, and much more. And a free fantasy horse. Okay, so you have to you can lock now with these jewels. Wow, that is expensive. You don't have enough. Yeah, I'm not surprised I don't have enough. That is so much. 
Okay, I'm kind of a little bit gutted. I knew at some point that it was going to be like, okay, you can progress, but it's going to cost you a lot. There has been a couple of buildings that have been like uh, 800 diamonds to upgrade. I'm a little bit disappointed. Although, I do have quite a few ranches. Like, I've got my US one, um, I've got my UK and I one, um, as, well as, as well as my German and my French one. So, it's not really a big deal. Um, I thought this was kind of interesting, recently seeing this was the Pure Breed Society where you can unlock certificates uh, based on the jewels that you collect. You also have to be certain rank. Um, this is how I managed to unlock the basically certificate to breed a grade 4 Appaloosa, so I've used that one. I haven't done it for the Shin Kutake Pony. I don't have any Shin Kutake pony Ponies anyway, so I haven't really bothered with that. And we've currently got a, the Derby going on, which is going on for a couple more days. I was actually looking, and I'm not far off 6,000, um, and I could have actually bought one of these <laughs> Champ Derby horses, and I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have, I actually should have saved it. But I ended up spending it on like cosmetic stuff like the Derby saddles and the berets and the hats and things like that, so I was a little bit silly with it, but I didn't think I was going to get as far as I did with it. Um, I've just been doing it every day, I haven't been spending anything on it really. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. So I think we'll do a competition while we're here for the Derby. Because I haven't done the Derby very much. I wonder can I enter the rarefied race? Do I have any horses that are good enough? I think we can take my Appaloosas. I don't know if any of my um, our sport horses we can try. No, it needs to be 20. I've only got 18 on that one. So yeah, you can see quite a few of my horses here, a couple of the breeds I've got, Missouri, Foxtrotter, Canadian Pacer, South Francis, Adrenas, Mustang, Morgan, our Sport, Scotland, Marens, Welsh, Branton, Andalusian, then my Appaloosas. I think we're going to go with my Appaloosas, I guess. I think that would make the most sense to go with that one. Right, let's start this. Uh, we'll give this Derby a go. I seem to be up against a couple of good horses, so chances of doing that great are probably not great. You can see I've dressed it up. This is the stuff I bought from the Derby, from the points that I got. Okay, we got a perfect start. That's good. No. Oh, there are horses flying in the lead. I don't think I'm going to do too good here. I'm hoping that my Tier 4 Appaloosa is going to be quite good. You know, and... Um, sort of do what I wanted to do, which is have the ability to do well in these kinds of races. I mean, I know it's maybe not going to beat some of the more rare horses, but, you know, for a tier 3, I feel like a tier 3 should be doing better in this. So, I don't know. Oh, that horse. I think I want to end up losing this completely. Oh wait, I don't know, I'm going to move up a space, but then still be behind another one, so we're staying in fifth. I can't see me getting any higher than this. I expect I'm actually going to lose entirely. Come on, little horse. Maybe you just can't see with that hat on you. You know, it's a fancy hat. Right, let's see how we do. Fifth place. I kind of knew, I didn't think we were going to get very far. Okay, so we got 25 derby points. So yeah, we're up against a bunch of elites in a constellation, I think, as well. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not too bothered. That wasn't that bad, actually. So yeah, that's kind of my um, progress so far. Um, more recently with Horsehaven, I've actually been doing it at my ranch as well, which you probably noticed um, compared to some of my earlier videos. As you can kind of see, I kind of decorated over here, got a little fountain going on. That's just about the fanciest part of all my ranches. <laughs> um, other, than, other than that, I haven't really done too much in that respect. So yeah. Anyway, Scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a good day. Uh, bye! -bye.